The movie begins in 2011. A woman named Fern was working for a company called U.S. Gypsum for quite some time. This was a company that was located in Nevada and she worked there with her husband. Her husband died and then she was fired from the company. She is now without a job and without her partner. Fern decides to sell all of her belongings and live on the road. She packs all of her things in a van that she bought. And this van is named Vanguard. She says goodbye to her close friend and hits the road. It's the middle of winter so traveling is a bit hard. Fern spends most of her days on the road until she eventually gets a job at an Amazon shipping center. And she decides to stay there through the winter. She meets a couple of new friends there. Her closest friend is an older woman called Linda. Linda introduced Fern to all of her friends while they were working at the Amazon warehouse. Fern enjoys the work as it's really simple and relaxed. When she has free time, she spends it with Linda. And they sometimes do puzzles and talk. Fern shows Linda the items that she values a lot. Some of the things are from her late husband and from her father. When Fern isn't working, she often goes exploring the city. On this particular day, Fern goes to a sports store and just sits there. And she almost falls asleep in the store. Eventually, she meets her friend Aubrey and her two daughters in the store. Her friend is really concerned about Fern and wants her to call if she needs anything. Everyone thinks that Fern is now homeless but this is something that she wants to do. Fern later goes back to her van and there she folds long laundry and listens to the radio. In the evening, she meets up with Linda and Fern listens to her life story. Linda raised two daughters and worked her entire life but still ended up with no money. Things got so hard that she thought about suicide. Linda then realized that the best solution is to buy a van and just travel. She shows her a video of Bob Wells. He is a man that works in Arizona and helps fellow nomads with their start in life. But Fern isn't interested in this man's help. She does her last few days of work at the warehouse, and now comes the holidays. She is totally alone in her van. She even catches a cold. After New Year's Day, she finds a dog and takes it back to the owner of the parking space where her van is located. The owner is called Patty, informs her that Amazon will not be paying her rent for the parking space. So she needs to find almost $400. Fern desperately tries to find a job and goes to see a social worker. The woman there is nice, but informs Fern that nowadays it's very hard to find any sort of job. Fern wants to start work as soon as possible and she can't retire because she likes working. The conditions become too horrible for Fern. She loses her parking space and also the winter is just too harsh. It's getting too cold to live in her van. So she decides to take up Linda on her advice. Fern drives to the desert where Bob Wells and other people in vans are living. She travels for many miles and arrives in the desert. She joins Linda and they listen to Bob give a rousing speech to many nomads. He talks about the dollar and how it makes slaves out of people. Bob thinks that people should look after each other and he wants to help. After the speech, all the nomads grab some food and talk. Fern learns many life stories there, and she realizes that every single one of these people has some tragic backstory. She decides to stay and learn from them, so that she can better survive on the road. Fern goes to talk with Bob, and he tells her that this community will give her security, and hopefully she can move on from her life. For the next couple of days, she spends time with her new friends in the desert. She meets a nice man that lives in a nearby van, and he gives her some tools she needs. Fern and Linda go to a giant festival and have fun there. They go and see many giant vans that are brand new and they imagine their new journey. They dance and have fun. Fern likes her new community and learns a lot from them. Some of the nomads decide that it's time to move on, so many of them leave. Fern is left alone in the desert and she starts to work on her van. She notices that there is another van in the desert nearby her. She sees that the owner is putting up a giant flag with skull and bones on the side of their van. Fern is kinda creeped out but she continues to live her daily life. Continues to live a pretty relaxing life. She lives in her van and goes to work with Ron, selling special rocks. And spends her days making sure the rocks look great for the customers. While working there, she meets some young nomads as well. They are just singing and enjoying their time. One of them is called Derek and he gets to know Fern. Fern later gets into trouble when the tire of her van blows. She then has to go to her neighbor Swanky for help. And she is the one with the giant skull flag. Swanky is very grumpy and when Fern tells her that she needs a ride, she gets angry. 
She thinks that Fern should be better prepared because she is living in the desert after all, and she decides to give Fern a ride into town anyway. While the new tire is being loaded up, Swanky and Fern start talking. She thinks that Fern needs to be careful and learn how to change a tire on her own. But Fern is not really interested, and then Swanky tells her that she needs to help her with something. When they return to their vans, Swanky needs help to paint her van. Fern tries to help, but it's a bit complicated. The two start to become really good friends, and they spend the next few days together. Swanky sells a lot of her things, and she gives some of them to Fern. Fern tries to learn the flute but she gets interrupted by stomach problems. One day while talking with Swanky, Fern learns that Swanky is very sick and only has a few months to live. She doesn't want to spend any more time in the hospitals so that is why she is on the road. Swanky tells Fern about her life and how she just wants to travel to Alaska to experience something new and beautiful before she goes. Fern is really emotional and wants to help Swanky with everything. Fern spends all night thinking about her life and her parents, especially her late husband. The following day, she gives Swanky a haircut and talks about her husband. Fern thinks that he suffered a lot in the end, and she wanted to help but couldn't. And Swanky gives her words of encouragement. Soon after that, the two friends say goodbye, and Swanky leaves for her journey. Fern is now once again alone and she travels some more. She goes to an abandoned town and starts to explore and goes to the river and swims there and takes a long walk in nature. Fern is very much enjoying her life on the road because nature is amazing and she sees a lot of wildlife. At some point, Fern gets a new job. She is now working as a camp host at the Cedar Pass Campgrounds, which is located in a national park in South Dakota. She likes her work and spends time with various people. One of the nomads from Nevada arrives, it's the kind man with the beard. His name is Dave and they spend more time together. Fern is also joined in her work by her old-time friend Linda. Fern and Linda spend their days cleaning up the camp and enjoying nature. While driving, Linda remarks that this is the most beautiful place to work. They have a lot of fun working together and they even help a family organize a birthday party for their daughter. Fern finds out that Dave also works at the park as a guide and she joins him and other tourists on the tour of the rocky landscape. At some point, Fern goes to explore on her own and almost gets lost. Dave finds her and she is happy to talk with him. After a while, Linda decides to move on and leave. Linda and Fern say their goodbyes and she drives off. Fern spends more time working in the camp, and things start to get more difficult. Cleaning toilets and the camp is a very hard job and she feels alone a lot of the time. She spends more time with Dave, but he gets sick and ends up in the hospital. Fern goes to visit him, and she learns that he had to get surgery. After he recovers, they start working at a restaurant. Meanwhile, Dave's son arrives and wants to talk with him. He has a new baby, and wants them to reconnect. Dave isn't really willing, but Fern tells him that he should be with his family. Dave seems to have feelings for Fern, so he asks her to come with him. Fern thinks about it, but declines his offer. She then continues her life on the road and gets a new job at a sugar plant. She works there for a while, but her van starts to break down. Fern has no money to get it repaired, so she is in trouble. She can't get any more money, so she goes to visit the family of her sister in California. When she arrives, her sister helps her and gives her the money. Fern fixes the van, but also has to deal with her sister. She wants to know why Fern was so distant, and why she spent so much time in the town of Empire when her husband died, but Fern has no answer. They say their goodbyes and Fern drives off. She goes to visit Dave once more, and she also meets his family. Dave has decided to stop traveling, and he wants to live with his son. While they talk, Dave admits that he is in love with her, but Fern decides to leave and thanks Dave for everything. She goes to work for Amazon once more. While working there, she finds out that Swanky has passed away. All the nomads gather around and mourn her passing. They all throw a stone into the campfire and Fern joins them. Fern goes to talk with Bob and they share their stories with each other and tells him about her late husband and how much she loved him. She also admits that she wasted a lot of her life after he died. Bob tells her that his son committed suicide a few years back and his life was really painful, but he decided to help others to honor his son. 
Also, Bob reveals, in this nomad life, nobody is really gone, and there is always hope that they will meet their loved ones down the road. Fern goes back to the town of Empire. The town is now totally empty and abandoned. It's covered in snow, and the buildings are run down. Fern goes back to the factory where she worked with her husband, and she visits their home. She gets rid of all of her stuff, and then continues her journey on the road. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next video. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel.